Sports NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Vivint Smart Home Arena in downtown Salt Lake City. Tonight, it'll be the Utah Jazz getting set to match up with the San Antonio Spurs. The opening tip won by the Jazz as we get started in Salt Lake City. Let's it fly from long range. Now that's a contest. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Bledsoe. Glory marketing with the block. Beverly into the front court. The lead is two. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throw is good. Gets the three-point play. It's quickly 5-0. Harden in possession. Looking to make something happen. To Mo Bamba. Finishing inside the paint on that one. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. Beverly to Towns. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Free throw try, off the mark. Bledsoe with it up top. Five-point game. From long range, and Eric Bledsoe, tough make there. You can't fault the defender. It's a three. Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball went in. Uh, pass it off. Oh, oh, I thought that was a dunk. Easy. Not too many times you see a poster for the defender, but that was brilliant. His first effort off the mark. Four three. Like the confidence, but Bamba forced that one. San Antonio ball knocked loose. That's out of bounds. Last touch by the Jazz. Holiday. To Towns. Can't connect from in close. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. And finishes strong. <laughs> that probably won't be the last time we see a dunk from him tonight. Maybe sometimes you should send a message. Give him a hard foul. Don't let it be so easy. Harden. James Harden. Two for three now here in the first. And the three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense. You can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside in. Knocked loose. Jazz have it. Shot for James Harden. And a putback slam. Ooh, establishing the glass early. But the defense has to be better at boxing out. Right now, San Antonio's possession. Knocked loose. Jazz pick it up. To Harden. Now pass stolen by the Spurs. To Holiday. No good and no foul. To Fareed. Has a chance. Fareed, a shot won't go. To Holiday. He's too good to leave that wide open. Defense has to communicate. I see this happen all the time. It used to happen to me. Sometimes an easy offense allows more effort to translate to the defensive end. That's out of bounds. Last touch by the Jazz. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Stepping in for the San Antonio Spurs. Marking it. Knock loose. Drew Holiday. Harden's on him.
Here's a chance from long range. And James Harden, well defended, still gets it to go down. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. Marking it. Has a look. Wide open look, won't go. Woo, I'm telling you right now, he will not get a better look than that right there the rest of the night. Prince there for the rebound. Dwayne Dedman able to recover with the block. Utah's got it. That kid can block out the sun, man. And count the basket inside. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Holiday controls the basketball. Down eight. To Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Two of four now. That's what they need to do more of. Attack that basket. Hit him where it hurts. Carl Anthony Towns with a piece. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Knock loose. And scores. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. To Towns. The pass set it all up. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Going to launch beyond the arc. That no good off the mark. Spurs in possession. To Towns. In the slam. You can finally see this team starting to get their rhythm and their groove offensively. This is a good run to get them back in the ballgame. To Harden. Fires the three. Tough shot. Well defended. Hey, locked up, locked up. And counted at the rim. Footer at the buzzer. Layup's good at the buzzer. Nice finish to this first quarter. One quarter down. Long way to go. So buckle up. It's wide open. Both teams are trying to feel each other out, but I like the aggression that both teams established in the first quarter. This is the first quarter league. The way you play in the opening minutes really sets the tone for the rest of the game. Here's the three. Can't connect. It's no good. That's out of bounds. Last touch by the Jazz. Holiday in possession. Down just a couple. Right. Oh, to away. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Two more points in the paint. Now a whistle and a timeout for Utah as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. For three, it's no good. Shots not going down. And the finish off the nice step through. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Seth Curry. And the finish at the rim. No doubt about where that one was headed. Spurs have it. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Stepping in for the Jazz. Number six. Anderson. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Stuffs it down with authority. Where did that come from? It's like he got in an elevator and went to floor eight. And, and I have to say something, okay? 
Six three, six feet, five eleven. Those aren't small guys. In the big scheme of things, they're pretty tall compared to the average person in public. I feel like you're speaking from experience. Everyday experience, my friend. Every day. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Seth Curry off the mark. Good defense. Beverly into the front court. Down two. Trying to cash in. Beverly shot no good. Bledsoe with the basketball. He'll run the offense. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. A drive through the paint, but a shot misses. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. I've seen him float so much on the perimeter, I forgot he even had that kind of physical presence. Good to see him beating up on people down low again. Count the basket inside. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way there. San Antonio with the basketball. Knocked loose. Beyond the arc for three. That's good D. Shot no good. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Short jumper won't go down. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Mm, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Nice finish at the rim. Spurs will take the timeout as he'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Return label included. Offense might want to adjust here. That's his fourth block of the evening. Stuffs it down with authority. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. And Jay, they call the foul. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. to Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Four out of seven. It's really a dope thing when passing becomes infectious. But don't become overly passive. Still take your shots when they're there. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. San Antonio ball. To Markinen. Markinen slams it down. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Still hasn't hit from deep in the first half. No good. Beverly into the front court. Margins eight. A drive to the basket, but the shot rattles around and out. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Beverly into the front court. They find themselves down 10 to Holiday. Knocked loose. Jazz have it. Let's it fly from long range, and he stays cold from deep as he misses another one. It's no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. First half comes to an end. Jazz had the lead. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Right now, San Antonio's possession. Jazz pick it up. Harden to Mo Bamba. Harden, great defense, forcing the miss. He had such a great first half, but obvious adjustments were made defensively to shut him down, and now he's really starting to struggle. Too much contact, 
and free throws coming. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. Patrick Beverly, couple of free throws on the way. Hasn't missed yet. Misses the first. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Here we go. My ball, my ball. I got ball. What's up? Ball. To Harden. From long range. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Holiday controls the basketball. His guy's down by nine. And he'll head to the line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. First personal foul. Team foul number two. Four seven. Drew Holiday at the line for two shots. For his career, 78% at the line. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Utah with the possession. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Here we go. Bledsoe to Mo Bamba. A oh, bad pass taken away by the Spurs. Gets it in the left corner. Beverly to Towns. Nearing impossible. No getting through. Five, Ed. That's five blocks tonight. Let's go with it up top. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Eric Bledsoe. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot in there. Knocked loose. Jazz have it. Bledsoe gets a look, can't hit. Beverly into the front court. His guys trail by 10. And the Jazz have it. They cleared the rebound. To Fareed. Harden. Message received. Well defended. His scoring has definitely cooled off, but you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. To Mo Bamba. Three. To Bledsoe. 4-3. Not there for Bledsoe. Defense all over him. Holiday in possession. Trailing by 10. And they call it. Those cat-like hands almost got a steal. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Entering the game. Number three. Holiday. To Beverly. Knocked loose. Jazz pick it up. Spurs in possession. Shot by Holiday. No good. To Fareed. Oh, Bamba powers it through. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Beverly into the front court. The deficit now up to a dozen. Here's a chance from long range. Won't go down. Mo Bamba. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Beverly into the front court. 14-point deficit. Holiday to Markinen. And the rebound taken down by the Jazz. Harden in possession. Looking to make something happen. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. It just seems like one of three things happen every time James Harden has the ball. Either he scores, he gets fouled, or he kicks it out to someone for a three. Pick your poison. Beverly to Markinen. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. It's Jazz Ball. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. James Harden at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 85% free throw shooter. 
Free throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Beverly. Harden. Tough shot. He hits. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. It was right there. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Harden. Short jumper off the mark. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Dwayne Dedman trying to cash in on the three-point play. For his career, 69% at the line. Beverly into the front court. His guy's down big. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going. And that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Beverly shot no good. The follow won't go either. Doesn't have the touch, no good. Played heave to beat the buzzer. Three quarters down, a nice advantage so far for the Jazz. It's Utah basketball as we begin the fourth quarter, and they have done no wrong to this point. They have this game well in control. They took control early, and they never let up. The scary thing about this team, if they keep their foot on the gas and then throttle it down, they can win this game by 50. Finger roll, finishing with finesse. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Count it. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Down the lane to lay it in. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Harden. Foot was on the line. It's a turnover. Knock loose. Jazz have it. Can the offense just run some clock here? <laughs> I've seen enough. Going to launch beyond the arc. Well defended. Knocked loose. Out of bounds. Last touch by Eric Bledsoe. So the Spurs keep the basketball. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Holiday to Markinen. Knocked loose. That's out of bounds. Last touch by the Jazz. To Markinen. And look out. Big finish at the rim. An easy two. Get back on defense. Bledsoe with the basketball. His guy's holding the big lead. Eric Bledsoe. He's now shooting five for seven. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Knock loose. Jazz pick it up. Maybe pace it right here. They got a big lead at home. Stuffs it down with authority. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. 
were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Gets to the basket and scores. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Let's go with it up top. His guys hold a commanding lead. And count the basket. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Bledsoe with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Lays it up and in. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Off the assist. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To Holiday. Down low Towns. And the rebound taken in by Utah. Blocked away. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Utah Bull. Mo Bamba to Bledsoe. And he finishes at the rim. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Now whistle. San Antonio is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Drew Holiday matched up with Seth Curry. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go. Tough make through traffic. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Seth Curry off the mark. Good defense. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Kenneth Faree rejects it. Incredible. Six tonight. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. To Holiday. Driving right to the basket. Holiday to the basket, but a shot stays out. Another shot won't go either. Doesn't get the bounce. Drove the lane and finished drawing at the hoop on that one. And he stepped out of bounds. Turns the ball over. It's a five second violation. Long key from three-quarters court. It's the Jazz who come away with the victory as they win this one in very convincing fashion. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now.